You can walk down any city in North America, actually any city in the world, and ask people, what's your goal? Most people would look at you with just a blind expression on their face. Some people would say, what do you mean? Out of a hundred people, you might find five that say, yes, I have got some goals. And then you can ask, how many are written? You might find one person out of a hundred that actually sat down and written their goals. Before I give a presentation, I just want to read something. I want you to ponder it as a reading. Those who reach decisions promptly and definitely know what they want and generally get it. The leaders in every walk of life decide quickly and firmly. That is the major reason they are leaders. The world has a habit of making room for the person whose words and actions show they know where they are going and what they want. That's by Napoleon Hill, my, one of my favorite writers, actually favorite teachers too, and I consider him a mentor, even though he passed away years ago. So tonight I want to talk about goals. I believe there's three kinds of goals. That's what I want to talk about. <laughs> there's A goals. A goals are something you already know how to do. As an example, a friend of mine bought a car a few years ago. He buys a car every four or five years. And they're talking about goals. And he says, my goal is to get a new car in a couple of years. And I says, well, if you know you're going to get it in a couple of years, that's not really a goal because you already know how to do it. A goal is something that you have to strive for. It helps you draw out strengths and things inside of yourself that you're not aware of. Something you have to really reach for. So an A goal is something you already know. And you're getting the present results. There's no growth in the A goal. There's no growth. It's just, it's almost like, it's almost like a chore, a job. A B goal is something you think you can do. You don't know how to do it, but you sort of think you can do it. You don't give it a lot of thought because your subconscious mind is saying, well, you can't do that, you're, you're too short, you're too uneducated, you're too this, you're too that, and all these false beliefs hold you back. So you, fear creeps in. Consequently, procrastination enters the picture. You know you can do it, but you don't do it. And many people, all of us, we know we can do all sorts of things, but we don't do it. Because our paradigm inside, our subconscious mind pulls us back. A big goal is also needs. Nobody wakes up in the morning excited, running down, Yahoo, I'm going to go pay off my visa bill. <laughs> oh, that's <just> dead, baby. <laughs> so needs, there's no Inspiration. Inspiration comes from within. There's no inspiration in a B goal. The goal you want to go for is a C goal, a fantasy. But most adults, we don't fantasize anymore. Children fantasize all the time. We encourage them. Then they go to school, and they're told, Garth, pay attention. You're dreaming again. You're daydreaming. So we learn not to fantasize. But we need to fantasize. Problems in the world, we need to come up with solutions. That's what we're here for, to come up with solutions to help each other. So to fantasize is something you've never done before. You have no idea how you're going to do it. You maybe don't have the money, you don't have the education, you don't have the experience. But you know, inside there's a desire that you want to do something. Or be something. Do something. Be something. Have something. Maybe give. Maybe you want to give to charity. Maybe you want to have a charity and you want to create a charity for $50,000 and give it away to children that are hungry. But you don't know how you're going to do it. But you know inside you want to do it. That's a fantasy. The more you focus on your fantasy, 
what happens is you start thinking about it all the time. In the morning when you wake up, you think of your fantasy. You go to bed and you start coming up with ideas. When you start coming up with ideas, are you able? Everybody says, yeah, I'm able to do it. Are you willing? That's the question. Are you willing to do it? We're all able. We have two arms, two legs. We can speak, we can see, we can hear. But are you willing to do it? If you believe you're willing to do it, whatever it is, then it starts changing into a theory. It's not a goal yet, it's a theory. And the more you think about it, you have ideas, inspirations, and it starts turning into more than a theory. It's something that you start believing in. You start believing it is possible. And when you start believing it's possible, your behavior changes. When your behavior changes, then you start doing things that you didn't believe you could do. If you believe you can do it now. Your behavior changes. When your behavior changes, you come down and you get your desired results. So my challenge to all of us is to fantasize. Don't let things hold you back. Just because you're 50, 60, 70, 72 years old. <laughs> you know, Fred and I were talking tonight, coming over, we're in our 70s. Our life is just beginning in many ways. So fantasize. Come up with your dreams. Encourage your children and your partners to dream. And hold that dream up and strive for it. And you'll surprise yourself. It pays to fantasize. It's a close message.